River Life works to create and activate and celebrate Pittsburgh's riverfronts, connecting people to exceptional places and experiences. This summer, I interned at River Life under the projects and planning team. I carried out tasks to support projects, programs, and community engagement. The mission of UN's Sustainable Development Goal 11 is to make cities inclusive, safe, resilient, and sustainable. River Life believes that the riverfronts are a place for everyone and strives to elevate social equity at the riverfronts. For 25 years, River Life has invested in quality, community-focused designs that have shaped Pittsburgh's riverfronts into what we know and love today. We envision a Pittsburgh where world-class riverfronts are essential to the region and belong to everyone. The last piece there, belong to everyone, is really, really important to us. We view the riverfronts as the town square and everyone should feel welcome, feel like they belong, and that there are amenities and attractions that benefit them. For us, it's about how um, you know, we make a more equitable society and we think open spaces are a great canvas to be able to do that, especially on our riverfronts. We participate in events in two different ways. Um, the first is to actually host our own. Um, so an example of this would be something like Chalk Fest. And those are opportunities where we get to control the messaging, the programming, everything we want to activate a space. So those are really beneficial to us because we can do new things that other organizations aren't offering the city. We also get to control the messaging and the narrative of whatever the programming is that we're doing so that it can be in line with our mission, vision, and values. Those take a lot more work, but they also benefit us a lot more. Chalkfest draws guests from neighborhoods all around Pittsburgh to create and appreciate public art. I assisted with the activation of Isabella Street in Allegheny Landing, along with tabling during the festival. I also created an engagement board that asked guests, what installation art pieces would you like to see in Allegheny Landing Park? The other type of event that we would be participating in would be something that would be hosted by one of our partners. Um, but those tabling opportunities are a little bit different because they're hosted by somebody else. So they have their own mission, vision, and values that they're you know, using this as a platform to kind of talk about. And then it's our opportunity to kind of find how we fit into that. Um, and sometimes it's just brand recognition, getting our name out there. You know, we're a 12 person organization, which means not a lot of people know who we are or what we do. So while we don't necessarily have as much control over what we're you know, getting out there besides maybe our name and a small activity, those are still beneficial to us. And especially when you consider the amount of effort that goes into those versus creating our own program or event, those types of things can cover a lot of ground. When you're planning anything for the public, um, it's a good kind of edict to follow of like for the people by the people. And so, you know, here we can kind of do that in two ways. One is from the beginning, from the kind of project planning stage, um, which allows you to just be checking in with people throughout the whole process. They can kind of help to inform your decision making so that you're not making decisions that whenever you are done and you kind of release them to people, they're like, well, what's going on? I think the other half of it kind of comes after the fact too, because there are going to be things that you miss through that planning process and after you've already kind of completed your project it's a good opportunity to go back to those people again and use them as a feedback opportunity to say what did we do well what did we kind of miss out on and then use that information to kind of inform the next process just having an open rapport with the community that you're designing these spaces for designing these experiences for throughout the whole process is just going to benefit you no matter what River Life held a series of workshops for youth from the Hope for Tomorrow group where they came up with a mural design for a trail space in the West End. This summer, I assisted with the working day to complete planting, build a bench, and paint the mural. The youth-led planning project created a sense of ownership and empowerment among the local youth. This project will seed long-term trust with the community in the West End. Everybody likes nature, everybody likes walking next to, you know, a natural body of water. It allows us to get, have these moments and these like touch points with folks to kind of create that community. Because I think post pandemic, we're a little socially stunted. Some of us, maybe we're a little individualistic. So just finding places where we can encourage people to talk to people again, create that sense of community, I think is what attracts me to 
wanting to put that effort in to revitalize these riverfronts. People that we never meet, right, generations from now, our grandkids, our great grandkids, right, are going to benefit from these, these assets. And um, not a lot of folks can say that in their daily lives, in their work lives, that they're able to plant those seeds to accrue that benefit.